So in today's Let's Model, we're going to do a flanged hole punch for sheet metal. So the first thing you have to do is actually model the, the flanged hole. And this is what our end result is going to look like. So I'll convert this to sheet metal and just give us some material to work with because when we're going to cut away our flanged hole so everything's going to be based off this point so you want to try to project this point from sketch to sketch and just use this point as much as possible anything that you project when you're creating an eye feature or a punch you'll be required to pick again every time it's placed so with a punch everything needs to be based off of one point so I'm just going to put uh, both the inside and outside diameter and I named my parameters if a parameter is going to change, make sure you name it so that you can call it out. And then I'll just use that same sketch multiple times. Try to use uh, parameters as much as possible. This is always it looks like it will always be the thickness, so I'll just say thickness times two. And that fill its thickness as well. So that's our flanged hole. So now we're going to extract that as a as a punch. So you pick your features that you want to extract from this part, and it's going to, it shows you over on the right which parameters were renamed, so those are editable, and also which geometry uh, were projected, which pieces of geometry were projected. So we'll have to. Uh, pick a sketch point and that's it. If you project edges and faces you'll have to um, specify every one of them when you're placing this punch. So make sure you build off of the same face and use that same sketch as much as possible. If I would have flipped to the back side and extruded that piece off the back side when I place the punch, I'd have to specify the back side so it'd know how far down uh, to start from. So we'll start a new sheet metal part and try to use this new punch. I'll go off of a different plane. And we'll give it a flange just to make it a real sheet metal part. So with punches, the only thing you need is a point. So I'll start a sketch and place a point. And we'll dimension it into place. And when I start the punch command, I should find that point and place my punch on it. So there's my flanged hole. And coming over to the uh, parameters, I can specify what my inside and outside parameters should be. There you go. Um, extracted features from your little starting part and now you can place this again and again without having to create that geometry. We'll do a little bit different size this time. We'll go small. If you want to edit the eye feature, 
you can't edit a lot. You can edit parameters, uh, what the parameters are called, that type of thing. Um, Got to figure out where they're saving them. So place a place a punch here to see where they're saving them. So it's public users, public public documents. And so you just go to where the punch is saved. I think they're called IDE files. I think that was originally Inventor Design Elements, but I could be wrong. So there's our punch we created. And you see there isn't a whole lot you can do, it's just a base solid. You can change the icon. Um, this is the icon that will show up in the browser when you place this feature. You can also create a table so that instead of uh, typing in parameters you pick from a set of lists and this is probably a good one for that where we build a table of a certain number of um, I guess overall diameters right and then you just drop down that list and pick it and the inside and outside parameters would update for you so you probably want to save the template piece that created this i feature uh, especially if it's anything complex or otherwise you'll have to recreate from scratch every time because uh, there really isn't a lot of modification that can take place after the feature is extracted as far as geometry goes I'm not very good at making icons And when I save this, you'll see over in the browser, the icon changed. That's going to be my icon when I use this high feature in the future. And there it is. So good luck building your punches, and I hope this was useful.